Thank you. Merci. A roll call, please, Madam Deputy Clerk. Councillor Luloff. Si. Councillor Dudas. Councillor Harder. Councillor Suds. Here. Councillor El Shantiri. Present. Councillor Gower. Here. Councillor Kavanaugh. Here. Councillor Shirelli. Here. Councillor Eglai. Councillor Deans. Here. Councillor Tierney. Present. Councillor Fleury. Ici. Councillor Fleury. Here. Councillor McKenney. Present. Councillor Leeper. Here. Councillor Brockington. Here. Councillor Menard. Here. Councillor Cloutier. Présent. Councillor Cloutier. Councillor Blay. Councillor DeRuz. Here. Councillor Moffat. Here. Councillor Meehan. Here. Councillor Hubley. Here. Mayor Watson. You see. You have a quorum. President, you have uh, <laughs> A declaration of interest, including those arising uh, originally from, uh, or sorry, declara declarations of interest, including those originally arising from prior meetings. None. Uh, regrets, Councillor Blay advised he'd be absent from the City Council meeting of July 11th. Uh, we have one item on the agenda, and it's reconsideration of Councillor Fleury and Leeper's motion. I'll ask. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Councillor Shirelli to introduce the motion and then I'm going to ask the clerk to explain uh, how reconsideration works. Councillor Shirelli, please. Second by Councillor Deans. Thank you, Your Worship. It's moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Deans. Whereas Council considered the Fleury Leaper motion 17 5 respecting the Shadow Laurier at its meeting of July 10th, 2010, 2019, sorry. And whereas the motion was lost on a vote of nine yeas to 14 nays, and whereas a notice of reconsideration of motion 17 5 was given pursuant to subsection 68 2 of the procedural bylaw and Whereas notice of reconsideration was accepted by Council pursuant to subsection 68.4 of the procedural bylaw on a vote of 10 yeas to 13 nays. And whereas Councillor Shirelli voted with the majority on motion 17.5 and is therefore eligible to move a motion of reconsideration pursuant to subsection 68.6 of the procedure bylaw. Therefore, be it resolved that the Fleury Leaper motion 17.5 of July 10, 2019 with respect to the alteration of the Chateau Laurier, 1 Rideau Street, be reconsidered. Okay, thank you. So, well, uh, Mr. Clerk, um, I believe the last time we had a reconsideration was in 2009. So maybe to refresh uh, my memory and, and that of uh, members of council on uh, the process. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And yes, we think it was about uh, 10 years ago was the last time. So uh, reconsideration under Section 68 of the Procedure Bylaw is actually a two-part process. Council enacted and triggered the first part yesterday by having one-third in the minority vote in favor of a notice of reconsideration. So that passed. Today's meeting to deal with is actually for the motion for consideration. And I just want to take you through the uh, four or five uh, steps, Mr. Mayor, with regards to Section 68. Subsection 5 says, if such notice has been given and accepted, which it was yesterday, no action shall be taken to carry into effect the main motion until after the motion to reconsider has been disposed of. So that effectively stops staff from doing anything with regards to the main motion until the motion to, to reconsider has been addressed today. Subsection 6 then talks about every motion for reconsideration shall be considered at a subsequent meeting, shall be declared lost, so it's mandatory language, unless the majority of the whole council votes votes thereof and must be moved by a member who voted in the majority in the original decision. So Councillor Shirelli has indicated was entitled to move this motion and it is properly before you. For the motion to not be declared lost, and you see the language is unusual, it is unless the majority of the whole council votes thereof. There are only four places in the procedure bylaw where this council has put a weighted vote of that um, level against itself. So that means that 13 members of council, no matter how how many members are present and voting must vote in favor of a motion to reconsider for it to succeed. Subsection 7 talks about the debate on the motion for reconsideration must be confined to reasons for or against reconsideration. And Mr. Mayor, I would liken that to any other procedural motion you uh, have dealt with at uh, regular meetings, a motion to defer, a motion to refer, and the chair of the mayor usually reminds members you're on deferral or referral, you're not to talk about the main motion. 
Subsection uh, 68 sub 8 actually then directly reinforces that. It says, no discussion of the main question shall be allowed upon an accepted notice of motion for reconsideration, which again was yesterday, or upon the motion to reconsider unless and until council shall have voted to reconsider the same. So you have in front of you the motion to reconsider. And the uh, last point, Mr. Mayor, under subsection 9 indicates that this is literally a one-shot deal. There is no reconsideration of a reconsideration, and there is no reconsideration of a procedural motion. So uh, there you go. Okay, uh, just before we get into uh, speakers, does anyone have any questions uh, of the clerk with respect to clarification of what he just uh, mentioned? No. Nope. Okay, oh, sorry. Uh, I have Councillor El Shantiri. Uh, do, you, do you want to speak, Councillor Brockington? Okay, so Councillor El Shantiri uh, to the clerk and then to Councillor Brockington, please. So I, did I hear you correctly, Mr. O'Connor? Because we are missing one member today, you still need 13 members for this motion to pass. That's correct, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Councillor Brockington, please. And is it my interpretation we first have to vote whether or not the matter should be reconsidered first? That is correct, Mr. Mayor. And we need 13 members of council to agree that this should be reconsidered. That is correct, Mr. Mayor. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So, Councillor Shirelli. Councillor Shirelli, do you want to uh, speak to your motion? Thank you. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, as the clerk said, we're dealing not with the substance of the issue, but the yes. um, process of reconsideration. Uh, normally, when we have reconsideration, we used to have a lot in the old days. Um, we, uh, the purpose of reconsideration is to give all of council the opportunity uh, for some sober second thought, to talk to each other, to talk to residents in that period between the <clears throat> notice of reconsideration being accepted and the reconsideration itself. That's not happening here today, but there is an opportunity here today if members of council accept it to uh, create time to actually have a shot at solving this issue. And that would be by accepting the motion of reconsideration. By doing that, uh, regardless of how the court system disposes of it or the LPAT system disposes of it, because we'd end up in both, uh, we will still have time. And time is the one thing that has an opportunity of changing the outcome. So I just urge everybody to support the reconsideration. I think it's crucial to the democratic process here. And I think if, you're f if you don't like the design, it's your one opportunity to make sure that design has a shot at not happening. Thank you. Councillor Deans, please, on reconsideration. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I want to take a few moments to ask my colleagues who voted against Councillor okay. Fleury's motion yesterday to sincerely reconsider your vote today. However, first, like Councillor Shirelli, I want to express my disappointment at being here today. The rules of procedure pertaining to reconsideration are intended to allow some time to pass, time for reflection, yeah. time to consider compromise, time to put opposing parties together in the hopes of finding a solution that we can all be proud of. Less than 24 hours does not provide sufficient time to allow that to happen. In a file as contentious as this, I think it would have been much more considerate of the public to allow the vote to come to the next regularly scheduled meeting on, of council on August 28th. But of course, consideration of the public has not been the hallmark of this council on this issue. Um, <laughs> Councillor Deans, so, Councillor Deans. Uh, um, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we most welcome you to the council chamber, but our, our rules indicate that uh, applause and booing or hissing are not uh, permitted, so we'd appreciate um, the opportunity to have Councillor Deans uh, finish her comments. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So now why reconsider? It appears almost universally true that councillors recognize the proposed design of the Chateau Laurier is incompatible and should not proceed. This is a process issue. 
Some of the tables su suggest it's not our place to interfere with the right of a private landlord to dictate the design. But the truth is, City Council is the custodian of our local heritage, and ensuring that proposed designs are compatible is Council's responsibility. Under Part 4 of the Heritage Act, owners must have the City's permission to alter a heritage building. Revoking that permit is perfectly within bounds. Some Members of Council worry revoking the heritage permit will result in costly litigation. That's a possibility, but far from the only one. I would suggest more likely is the potential for the owners to hear the thousands of voices against the proposed addition and start developing a new plan. In fact, this is by far our best chance of making this happen. Yesterday, four members of council wrote to Largo owners imploring them to change the design. The disconnect between actions and words was monumental. I would say to those four councillors, if that is what you believe needs to happen, right. then you can back uh, up those words with action today order. by voting for point the order for Labour order. motion. Point of order by uh, Councillor Aglai, please. Sorry, your, your microphone's not on. No, it's not. No, I'm talking no, about it. No, it's not. I think the argument is well done. Well done. Okay, okay the, the microphone is not working. There it goes. Sorry, Councillor Eglan, a point of order, please. For the third time, um, I, I, Mr. Mayor, I, I, you know, I, I think that the, you were quite clear that the Stop. The, the, you know, the, the talking at this point in the process was about reconsideration, and and we were hearing a re-argument of the motion. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, so uh, Councillor Deans, if we can stick to reconsideration, please. Mr. Mayor, I am firmly sticking to reconsideration. I'm telling the four councillors who wrote to Larco yesterday that the most effective way of getting the outcome that they're looking for is to put their actions into place today, not just words yesterday. Um, so to wrap up, we have heard so many what ifs throughout this debate. What if they take us to court? What if we lose? What if we end up back here all over again? Well, I have a what if. What if we succeed? What if we get this right? What if we can find a solution we can all be proud of, that our residents can be proud of, and that this city can be proud of? What if we enhance the Shadow Laurier so that in a hundred years our predecessors will fight just as hard to protect this important landmark? I'm willing to fight for that opportunity, and I ask every member of council here today to do the same. Thank you. Councillor Brockington, please. Thank you, uh, Your Worship. On the, on the matter of reconsideration, um, we live in a democracy and this chamber must allow the free exchange of debate and discussion. The reconsideration was triggered yesterday and I urge everyone to allow the matter to be on our agenda today for a final discussion. The optics will be horrible for those who vote against this. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Conseil Fleury, s'il vous plaît. Councillor Fleury, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to speak about uh, reconsideration specifically. It's been nine years now that I sit as councillor here, and as you can see, uh, according to the uh, clerk, this is the first time that we've appealed to this uh, reconsideration mechanism in the last nine years that I've been here. There was two purposes here. The first was to to provide the opportunity to your uh, people in your community to know how you are going to vote on this matter, councillors, to give them a period of time to reach out to you and share with you their concerns. That is a uh, point that we shouldn't appeal to too often, this procedural tool here. But nonetheless, I think it's important that the community should know where you stand. It's important that you be able to defend your position, your vote. I respect the procedural rules. It's not uh, typical. It shouldn't become something that's ordinary every day. But I'm sure that, uh, that uh, each and every one of you 
I've received emails uh, begging you uh, uh, about certain specific points in this issue, and this gives you the opportunity to uh, take back a little, stand back a little bit. There was a lot of emotion around the, our debate yesterday. Everybody was quite uh, firm in their positions. Uh, we're reading from prepared notes. I think that today, 24 hours after, despite the fact that we would have wished for more time for this uh, a reconsideration date uh, be at the next uh, ordinary meeting at the end of August. But I think that 24 hours nonetheless provides uh, some further reflection and the elements in favor of reconsideration, are to, for example, in terms of actions. Uh, uh, citizens are asking us to act on this. If we want to act, well, then we have to uh, have a reconsideration of the motion before us. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councillor. Anybody else wish to speak? To the motion. Okay, so uh, Councillor Shirelli has moved. Um, reconsideration seconded by Councillor Deans. Yeas and nays, please. Councillor El Shantiri. <laughs> Councillor. No. Councillor Suds. No. Can somebody go? Councillor King. Yes. Councillor Leeper. Yes. Councillor Eglai. No. Councillor Luloff. No. Conseil Fleury. Oui. Councillor. Yes. Yes. Councillor Harder. No. Councillor Gower. No. Councillor Hubley. No. Councillor Dudas. No. Councillor McKenney. Of course. Councillor Blay, Councillor Cloutier. No. Councillor DeRuz. No. Councillor Menard. Yes. Councillor Brockington. Yes. Councillor Kavanaugh. Yes. Councillor Shirelli. Yes. Councillor Tierney. No. Councillor Moffat. No. Councillor Deans. Yes. Mayor Watson. No. Ten yeas, thirteen nays. Councillor Menard, uh, with the confirmation bylaw, please. Seconded by Councillor DeRuz. Do you want to give it? Do you want to give it to Jean? Councillor, do you want to? Uh, okay. That's okay. I'm not going to read that. Councillor Brockington. Councillor Brockington. That the following bylaw be read and passed to confirm the proceedings of the council meeting of July 11th, 2019. Carried. Update. Any written inquiries? Adjournment. Council. Councillor Brockington. Councillor Brockington. Yeah, go ahead. Councillor Brockington has the floor. That the proceedings of the City Council meeting of July 11th, 2019 be adjourned. And seconded by Councillor DeRuz. On the motion, carried. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.